What's up guys, it's your Masters here today with the combination model for Skull Warrior, Skull Basher, and Skull Slicer. So this is interesting, it kind of reminds me of the Kaito or whatever they would call it, I don't really know, back from 2001 where they had the three Toas and they combined. It sort of reminds me of just the overall same concept here with the three sort of figures that they combined to make one giant sort of thing. So this is a very interesting binder, it's, it's a huge step up from the first wave of combiners. So first thing, this is a forearm guy, and the way it works is that you got the gear function and you can just kind of do this, it's kind of standard. So this guy, you know, it's it's similar, it has pretty much the same function, it's got the gear function and this map pop off function. So it is similar to the actual sets, the only difference, you know, it's way taller. But, you know, th it's very interesting, so we'll just take a look at this starting from the ground up. So taking a look at the legs, they're, they're very interesting legs, you can see that they made them a little bit asymmetric because this one has this sort of trans reddish piece and this one has the gun metal. They're, they are very sturdy though and they hold up well because they have these nice feet where they have the big feet and then the protector foot. So that makes it overall sturdier. And this also has a bigger sort of middle toe and pretty much other than that, it's the same thing. For the arms on this guy, they're, they're really simple, they're like the simplest arms they probably could have done. They just have these, they have a bone here, This it looks like it's ripped straight off Skull Warrior and they just kind of throw this on here and then they added a sword and on the other one they just added these. Also kind of, it's not completely ripped off of Skull Basher but pretty much that's what they were going for. Even with the weapons, this is just a shortened down version of the Skull Basher weapon. But there's, there's some interesting stuff going on with this guy for the build. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can see they actually use two gear functions here, which I thought that was pretty much brilliant because it allows you to make the mock or whatever. If you were making a mock, you, know, you can make a mock much taller just using that. And I think really the main purpose of these guys are just to show off, you know. I think the point was Lego want to show off what we can do with the CCBS system. And it is very interesting. It's just it's very interesting that we can sort of do these things. Like get this really tall guy, but also just have such a simple build. Because there is, it's not that complicated of a build. It really, it gets complicated for the most part. Like the most complications you're going to have here is right up here along the gearbox. But other than that, it's pretty much a relatively standard build with the arms and legs. They just got some added stuff. For the last thing, you know, you can, you can move this down. <laughs> and yeah, so you can move this down if you want to. And you can just ha kind of have this look. I, I personally like the idea of having it up. I always like the kind of look that you get if you have something up like this. I always think that's kind of nice. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this combiner model. Definitely a step up from last waves from their golden mask plus protective weapons. This, yeah, this is our combiner. This is way, way better. It's actually a relatively good combiner. The only thing is I wish, you know, there was a little bit more stuff you can do with it. I mean... I don't completely like it in terms of the arms. I think these arms are really kind of crappy because I feel like, you know, if you want to move this arm, you're not going to get this arm anywhere. This is pretty much it and you can move it up. And yeah. Oh, and you, as you can see, I just realized you can't, you can't really get it in a pose. So this is not posable either because the friction gear is just, they, they, not enough of them. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this combiner. Overall, it's a good one, definitely a step up. I, I would recommend building this because I do think it is definitely worth building, you know, just to check it out because it, it's good for mockers that are mocking the CCBS because it definitely will give you guys some tips on how to make bigger mocks. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, see you guys later. Goodbye.